this video, we will learn how to draw a mouse brain in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to start with the ellipse tool over here on the left. If you see a square, you might see something that looks like that. Just click and hold and go down to the ellipse tool. Then I want you to draw a, an ellipse about like that. That's the overall shape of the brain. We're going to make it a little more wedge shape. So click on the direct selection tool. Click over here reduce this down uh, about 60% of what it was before. Okay, and that's the overall shape of the brain. And then we need to split it up into the cerebellum and the, the two hemispheres. So I'm going to click over here, click the rectangle tool. I'm just going to start somewhere up above and then go down until you're, until you meet halfway on the um, circle remove the fill and then I want you to um, use a pen tool and we're going to roughly draw the cerebellum make sure that this pen is roughly aligned with this just create some random points and then join it back up with this anchor point here so what we're going to do is we're going to split this ellipse using these uh, above shapes as bisectors. So we're going to go over here to the Pathfinder, and then we're going to click this right here. What that's going to do is going to split this underlying shape. Right click, ungroup, click away, and then select these objects and delete. Okay, so these are now, this ellipse has been split up. We want to combine these two regions so I'm going to select all of these and then go over here to this. You should see two circles with a dotted line. If you don't see that, click and hold and then click on the Shape Builder tool and then click and drag and then that combines those two sections. Okay, so this is a rough shape of the, um, the mouse brain and we want some more curved edges here. And to do that, we're going to switch to the direct selection tool and you should see these little circles inside of these corners this is the new feature of adobe illustrator they added about a year or two ago i want you to click and drag and that's going to smooth it out those um those corners okay about like that and then click away and then that's now we're starting to get the shape of the mouse brain and we need to create the olfactory bulb over here. And I found that that's roughly the same shape as the cortex. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key, I'm going to left mouse button, I'm going to click and hold. That's going to copy the cortex. Then I'm going to hold the Shift key, and then I'm going to click that corner and reduce it down to something like that. Make sure when you do that, just click S and Enter. And make sure you see scale corners and scale strokes and effects. You probably only need scale corners here, but let's go ahead and have them both selected just to make sure. Click the selection tool, hold the shift key and drag it down. Okay. Make sure you select the object and drag it over. I think it's a little smaller than that. Okay, and an important thing is we want these to be right up against this. First of all, let's increase the line thickness. And we're going to drag this so that it meets right up with this point. It's important that it meets right up to this point. This one, I think, it's a little bit misaligned from the other one. OK, so now I want to, let's change the color of this, um, the brain. I, I think it's. This is probably slightly too dark. We're going to change the color. So double click on this. And I want you I want this to be a slightly darker. So we're going to change this to HSV. And actually, I want it to be slightly lighter. OK. So maybe a little less of the saturation. And click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we want to fill in these uh, these spots right here. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm going to copy. 
And then I'm going to use this shape builder tool again, but I'm going to combine all of these surfaces. So there's one solid surf shape. So that's one solid shape. We're going to darken this a little bit more. So hold shift and click here and then darken it just a little bit. Maybe a little more. And make it a little bit more saturation. Okay, I'm going to drag it over here. And then I'm going to hold the control key and the left bracket. Okay. So there's the, looks like roughly a very simple diagram of the mouse brain. Now you probably want to add an injection site. So I'm going to click on the polygon tool going down here. And then I'm going to click and hold. You probably have a hexagon, but just click the downward arrow to, to turn it into a triangle. Hold the shift key to keep it um, horizontal. Then go back to the selection tool and make it a little more narrow. Position your mouse to the corner where you see the double arrows. Turn it, hold the shift key so that it's vertical. And bring it roughly to the area that you're injecting. Click on the gradient and click linear gradient to make it look like a pipette. And if it's a red dye, change this to red. Move this over to the center. Click over here. Double click there. Change this to red. And if you want, you can also make this a little bit more softer. Okay. So there's the injection needle. Let's increase the thickness of the black line. So you're probably going to want to add an injection bolus here. So let's click over here, go over to ellipse, draw a little ellipse, change this to uh, maybe a darker red. Click over to the selection tool, drag it over so that the center is with the position of that needle. Hold the control and click on the left bracket. This lowers it down so that the needle is on top of the bolus. Click on this ellipse, remove the black line, go to effect, down to blur, and then Gaussian blur. And that looks pretty good. Just change the radius however you want. And click OK. And there you go. That's how you draw a mouse brain in Adobe Illustrator.